Welcome everyone, here are 50 tips and tricks for Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4. If we take a look at the cover screen here, the app icons and the home screen layout will not sync with the inner screen. However, you can change this. You do this by opening up the settings app. From here, you're going to scroll all the way down until you see home screen. You're then going to see cover screen mirroring. Tap on this one and if you turn this one on, the outside screen will sync with the inner screen and vice versa will apply as well. If you press and hold the power button, you're going to notice Bixby is going to activate. So if you want to turn off your Z Fold 4, the first way is you slide down from the top once, slide down from the top one more time, and you'll see this power icon. This will bring you to the power menu. The second way, this is kind of awkward, is you press and hold the power key on the volume down key. You just press and hold these two together. And once you do that, you'll be brought to the power off menu. The next way is you activate Bixby by holding the power button and you ask to power off. Power off my device and then you have the option here to power off or reboot. The final way, this is the best way, is you replace Bixby entirely. You do this by opening up the settings app. From here you scroll all the way down until you see advanced features. You then want to find where you see side key. And from here you see press and hold. By default it's set to wait Bixby. When you tap on power off menu, you're going to see the power off menu. If you long press on power off here, this will allow you to enter into safe mode. Safe mode is useful if a application you downloaded is causing issues on your Z Fold 4. Next, let's slide down once. Slide down one more time, and now we have the control center here. Did you know that if you tap on the little empty space below the icon, you will have a pop-out view? This allows you to easily change the Wi-Fi network, connect to a Bluetooth device in an app without going into settings. However, if you want to go into settings directly, you can long press on the app icon and it'll bring you straight into the area of setting which you would like. You can also long press on other actions such as the torch. If you turn on the torch, you can also change the intensity here and the last setting you use will be applied every time you tap on the quick toggle. One thing you may notice is you have to slide down twice in order for the brightness toggle to show up here. So what you can do is you're going to find the triple dots. You're then going to see where it says quick panel layout and you see where it says brightness control. You can tap on this one, show always. And when you do this, watch this, you slide down once and I can quickly change the brightness on your Z Fold 4. On top of this, you see the device control and media output. Media output is going to show media which is playing and allow you to quickly change the sound. Device control is where you control your Bluetooth devices. But for most people, you're never going to use these features. So if you tap on the triple dots, quick panel layout, you see where it says device control and media output. You can tap on this one either show when the quick panel is fully expanded. What I like to do is select don't show. So now we have a cleaner control center. Those toggles which are never used will be gone. If you tap on the triple dots, edit buttons, you can now change the layout of all of the buttons here. Just drag and drop. If you want to remove a button, you long press, drag and drop into the available buttons area. If you want to add a button, you drag and drop of course you can move pages if you would like to as well. Tap on done when you are done. Locking the device on Z Fold 4 can be annoying. You know, pressing the lock button, especially with one hand on the in the screen is kind of tough. But did you know you can lock by doing this? Well, uh, you will need to turn that on in settings. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the settings app. We're then gonna scroll all the way down until we see advanced features. From here, we're going to find where it says motions and gestures. You're then going to see palm touch to turn off screen. This will be off by default. Turn it on. Just touch the screen with a palm. Just like that, you can easily turn it off without any issues. The next tip is with notifications. So let's open up the settings app. From here, we're going to find notifications. You're then going to see brief pop-up settings. You're then going to see edge lighting style and you can set an effect here so when you get a new notification you'll see this edge lighting style you can also add effects here as well so you can see hearts coming out the notification 
you can change the color and you can change the transparency the width and the duration as well this allows you to customize the notifications on top of this we have color by keyboard so here's what's up if someone sends you a message or a notification includes a keyword you like maybe cool of duty okay you tap on the plus tap on the color here and you can have the color be set to the notification you would like all right so now when you have a notification which has the text call of duty it's going to be in the purple color okay of course if you want to remove in the future you just tap on the minus this whole time we've been using buttons to control the z fold 4 however samsung wants you to use a newer way so let's open up the settings app from here we're going to scroll down until we see display we're then going to scroll all the way down until we see navigation bar and you just want to change this one into swipe gestures some tips and tricks i'll show on later in the video will be useful with the swipe gestures when we are in the swipe gestures you do a quick flick up to go home you slide up and hold in order to access multitasking and a little tip is the phone will vibrate and when it vibrates when you're holding that's when you release so you will eventually be able to access multitasking really quickly in order to go back you could just tap on the back button here or best way is you slide across you see it's a little back icon here slide across and it'll make you go back if you go back one more time it'll bring you straight to the home screen you can also the navigation bar slide across to quickly switch between the applications you have open okay so I'll open up the messages we'll quickly flick across boom boom definitely more useful than the regular buttons on top of this we have split screen so open up the first app you want to split screen with from here you can access multitasking tap on the app icon here then tap on open in split screen view from here you can select the second application you would like to split screen if you tap on the bar you have this rotate icon this will allow you to rotate the split screen okay you can also switch which app is on the left and right or up and down you will also see here there is a blue bar for each app okay if you tap on the blue bar you have the option to bring the app into full screen close and this one here allows you to bring the app into pop out view and from here you have a bunch of pop-up view options the main one is full screen minimize transparency bring back into split screen close and then this one will place the blue bar with buttons okay and if you want the blue bar again just tap on the blue bar all right there is an even better way to split screen because this whole time we have this taskbar here so this is new in the z fold 4 in order to add apps to the taskbar you just need to drag and drop the apps okay like so there is a limit of up to eight applications you can add all right and then in order to split screen you can just drag and drop and just like that you're good to go if you slide up this will access the taskbar why just go down here you may not like the taskbar showing up all the time so you can only do this with the home bar here so if you use the gestures earlier you can just long press on the side and that will hide the bar long press on the side again to view the taskbar again if there is an application you want to split screen with which is not included here tap on the dots and then drag and drop the app of choice you can split screen with up to three applications okay and then of course if you want to do more than three apps drag and drop but drop in the center and then that will allow you to do uh, a pop-out view when you see these double dots here this allows you to drag across okay same with the triple dots but only the triple dots will allow you to rotate the view and you also have the favorite feature when you tap on the favorite feature you can add a app pair so if you frequently split screen with maybe youtube and you know safari sorry chrome then you can just add app pair to either with a taskbar which is which is this right here of course you can also add to the home screen or the apps edge panel which i'll cover in a bit so if i add the app pair to the home screen and i close out with this app pair when i tap on it 
It's going to immediately bring me straight into multitasking with these three applications, which I can see right here. Now we can also split screen with the edge panel. So if you slide out once, you should see this panel here. You slide out again and you'll see the edge panel. You can also long press on this edge panel to move it around. Keep in mind this will only work on the home screen, okay? So you can see I'm moving the edge panel to a better position for me. So let's open up the split screen here. Let's slide out again. And now we can see our recently opened up apps and then our applications we've selected. So if you tap on the triple lines here, if you want to split screen with all apps, you can tap on all apps and then select the app you want to split screen with, like so. But the problem is you have a taskbar which does the same thing as the edge panel. So you can also tap on settings here and you can see we're brought to the edge panel setting. By default, it allows you to view apps, but you can also view live messages, contacts, smart select tools, tasks, weather, and the list goes on. If you slide across, you can then swipe between each feature in the edge panel you selected, just like so. I personally recommend you turn off apps and just have all of these features you'd like, and you slide out, and you can quickly switch between all of these features. Okay, you want to take a screenshot, boom, and all that good stuff is available in the edge panel, not in the taskbar. If you want to turn off the edge panel entirely, maybe you're activating it by accident, then we just need to slide across, open up settings, tap on the back button here, and then you have the option to completely turn off the edge panel. You can also customize where it wants to show. So maybe you're not using it on the, uh, the cover screen ever. You could just choose main screen, okay? But you can also turn this guy off entirely as well. So now let's talk about battery saving. So let's open up the settings app, tap on battery and device care, tap on battery, and the obvious power saving mode is called, well, power saving. If you tap on it, you can customize what will be restricted, but this will cripple the performance of your Z Fold 4. Did you know that there is a more battery settings area and you have a performance profile? When you tap into this one, you have the standard performance mode, which will give you the full A plus Gen 1 performance everywhere you go. And then you have the light performance mode. The light performance mode will give you the speed of the Snapdragon 888, but there'll be far less heat, first thing. And when you open up games, it will unlock the full performance of the Z Fold 4. I definitely recommend you turn on light, and the Z Fold 4 ones are really cool when you have this one on. You may have some apps on your Z Fold 4 which don't support the full screen. I mean, look at this, it's kind of ugly. However, you can force apps into full screen. You do this by opening up the settings app. From here, you're going to find display. You're then going to find where it says full screen apps. And then you just select the application, which is not supporting full screen. So in my case, Instagram, change it from 16 by nine and force the full screen. Now, when I open up the unsupported app, oh, well, all of a sudden it's supported. On top of this, you may use an application, but when you go to lock your Z Fold 4, to go to the cover screen, uh, you can't resume the application, okay? When it locks, you have to unlock the device. So if you want your device to stay unlocked, when you go to the cover screen here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up the settings app. From here, you're gonna find where it says display. You're gonna scroll all the way down until you see continue apps on cover screen. And then you probably just wanna set this to all apps. However, if you just want to select certain applications, let's say I want the clock to resume. Now, when I open up the clock app, and then I go and fold my Z Fold 4, you can see my device does not lock. It continues to keep the application open. Now, let's go to the camera. This little icon here at the top left will show previews of your shots right after you take them. So when I take a picture, you can see the exact view. Okay, and you can zoom in to see the picture. So if you want to see what is your picture good, instead of tapping on the you know, preview right here, you can see it immediately in the camera app. 
On top of this, if you're taking a picture of someone else, they will appreciate if you select this option right here. This will turn on a preview of what you see in the camera in the cover screen. You can see right here. So if you're taking a picture, the other person on the other end will be able to see themselves. On top of this, while the cover screen preview is on, you can tap on selfie. And what this will do is it will allow you to use the rear cameras for selfie pictures, okay? So you can tap the inner display because it's fully black. Uh, it's not going to respond to touch, right? And then when you want to take the picture, you can tap on the shutter button or you can click on the volume up or down here. In order to go back to the rear camera, you just slide across and I'll bring you back to the rear camera. You see here, we have the different modes, photo, video, etc. By default, the photo is going to be selected. But if you want to quickly record a video, no fuss, just long press on the shutter button and now you are recording a video. If you want to stop the video, you just release and that will stop. Long press to start the video recording and you see this little unlock icon. You just slide your finger to the unlock icon, release and now you're taking full video. You do not need to be holding the shutter key anymore. If you see a QR code you'd like to scan, you can scan it from the camera app directly. Just bring the QR code in the preview and you'll see the exact result with the QR code. Just make sure you go to settings here make sure scan QR code is turned on. On top of this, if you fold the phone halfway and then go into landscape mode, we are now in flex view. So from here, you can see all of your recent pictures and recordings, which you can slide across. You can tap on the delete button, share. You can also play and pause. You also have all of the options for the camera on the lower screen and you have a pro a full preview at the top. This is useful if you want an ultra steady shot, okay? Uh, you just rest the phone down, tap on the shutter button, and you can see the picture will be taken and the exact preview will be here. However, flex mode isn't just for the camera, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the settings app. We're then gonna scroll all the way down until we see right here, the advanced features. We then want to find where it says labs we're going to find flex mode panel and just turn on the app if you want to use flex mode for so for example let's say i go to blah, 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 the galaxy store when i open up the galaxy store and when the flex mode panel is on if i fold the z fold four and a half landscape mode you're going to see it's going to push the content onto the top side of the screen we have this little panel here for the bottom side so if you tap on this here, this will activate a little trackpad. Tap once, and if you long press, that counts as a right click or two tap as well. If you slide up with three fingers, you can activate multitasking using the touchpad as well. You have the sound control here. You also have the brightness, and you can also take a screenshot if you would like to using this panel. You can also access the notification center. If you tap on the X, you'll be closed out of the flex mode panel. That being said, check out my tutorial on how to use the Z Fold 4. Even more tips and tricks there will be on the end screens in the description. Leave a like on my small channel. Bye.